What is up, Karatics? In this video, we're going to be customizing the brand new Coil Cyclone. Just came with the GTA. Costs $1.89 million, so right around $1.9 million plus upgrades and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and order it here, and I'll get back to you guys once it gets delivered. All right, here it is. Just got delivered. Beautiful car. Looks almost identical to the uh, what it's based off of, which is the Rimac Concept One, fully electric all-wheel drive supercar with two gears. I don't know if the one in GTA has two gears or if it's all-wheel drive. I guess we're gonna have to find out. But let's go ahead and see what customization options we got here. What are we doing today? All right. So first off, right away, we have the armor, typical in any car. Have the race brakes. Got the bumpers. All right, so we're getting to the visual stuff. So you got a carbon one, like a carbon style race one with the uh, little strut bars that kind of reinforce it. You got a okay, that was painted. Like this, this is carbon. Then you have this painted performance splitter. It actually looks really nice. I'm not gonna lie. And then you have the carbon performance splitter. Hmm, interesting. Not sure if I like this or not. I kind of like the stock front bumper, to be honest. But yes, let's go with the Girl, car, but why not? Good. And then we got the engine horn. You can do whatever you want there. The headlights, it already has like some LEDs in there. So I'm just going to put the Xenons to make them a little more blue. There you go. And of course, you got the uh, neon kits if you want to put those. And then we got the, oh, there's liveries, okay. So you have dual black stripes. Wow, that's really nice. Very, very nice. You got the dual white stripes. Obviously, they're exactly the same. You can kind of see them there a little bit. Dual blue stripes, really nice. Whatever you desire. Dual red. Technology Those are just the same stripes, but in different colors. Okay, now you have a different style of stripe. Dual blue. Now you got red. With like a silver accent, that's really nice. Now we have a solid black with some black accents on the uh, sides there, quarter panels, right there. You can see them right, can right in front of the lights. I can do it. Now you have inverted body stripes. That looks very nice. It kind of accents the lines of the car. Very very nice. Okay, so that's all of them. Wow, that's. Very difficult to choose from, to be honest. Did not expect that many options. I like this blue, but I kind of wish that it was a little darker. Hmm. Making decisions I think I might do the white ones, but let's let's keep on going and we'll get back to the stripes uh, a little later. Let's do a plate, Maybe put anything you want on there. Get to the skirts. Okay, so you have painted race, carbon race. And you have performance. Wow, that looks really nice. It kind of hugs the inside of that body line there. That's really nice. And this is nice, but I mean, this one looks, eh. I guess it, the way they kind of touch there kind of looks kind of weird. Okay, I'm going to go with a carbon race skirt. Think long and hard. Ooh, spoilers. The good stuff. Okay, so you have a painted race wing. So this is painted the same primary color as the car. Then you have a secondary color, which I'm guessing is matches the paint there on the door. Carbon wing type 2. Painted tuner wing. That looks really nice. Secondary tuner. Oh, that's that nice. So you can have the secondary color on the uh, top of the wing. Carbon tuner. Painted GT wing. Secondary carbon GT. Okay. So I think my favorite one here was the tuner wing, to be honest. I wasn't really feeling the other ones. I don't know why they didn't have one that was just kind of a line that goes across the two quarter panels from tail light to tail light. Like something very small there. Kind of like the penetrator. That would have been nice. But I guess this is what we got. A bunch of race spoilers. I, got th I think this is the only one I kind of like. I, we can probably match it with the secondary. Which will be kind of cool. Carbon actually looks really good. Let's do the carbon. Looks almost okay. as good as you. Uh, suspension. 
Yeah, definitely gonna lower that. Wheels. Uh, hmm. Thinking of some sport ones. Let's see here. I had some in mind, but I can't. I think they're in the high end category. All right. I think these look good. Even though the cone is a little bit too big, the center caps, but they do look pretty decent. Put those in. Let's do chrome with those. I'll do the black. No rush at all. Actually, I think I might do these. Yeah, these with Good the character. with the little ring. We can kind of match that secondary color. That will look really good. Okay, and then you have the windows. I'm going to do light smoke. Okay, so let's go back to the paint. So I'm thinking of doing a Cabernet Red kind of metallic color. So go over here, Cabernet Red. Body work and then we'll do a pearlescent of a bright red, which will give it a nice color contrast. Very, very nice. Your cosmetics are on point. And secondary, let's see what that is. I'm pretty sure it's the black. Oh, look at that. Very nice. What? He has the brake calipers too. No way. Oh my god. Now that I like a lot, actually. Holy crap. That is very, very, very nice. Okay, so I want to match that. So I'm going to do an ice white. We'll kind of go, go back and forth to see what matches. This white really doesn't look, this white looks very strange. Okay, uh, I'm kind of thinking of leaving it black right now. Okay, look, what's our trim color? Is that the interior? Yes, it is. Very, very nice. Okay, I want to go with a, um, Whatever green, you green, a little bit too bright. Technology and budget permitting. Sandy brown, straw brown, with sandy brown, or bleached. Very, very nice. You've got an eye for the stuff. Kremblum would go right there on that part of the door. If you're wondering. I think the secondary looks fine in black, to be honest. I think I might have to repaint this because this color contrast is really bothering me. It's kind of hard to match that. And then if we have, if we go back to the stripes, the liveries, we do the black. Well, the black actually looks really good. If you Jeez. can think it. Okay, let's look at the other ones. All oh, white. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's keep on going. Holy gosh, that blue looks gorgeous too. I love the stripe design, how it comes to a point at the end. That's really, really nice. Making decisions is stressful. Oh, this white. Well, it's got a black accent on it too. Oh my goodness. I think it's a little bit too much. I kind of like the other stripe, to be honest. Right, when I go with the dual white, that looks really good. And then the respray. Let's see how white looks. Think long and hard. It actually doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do. Man, it's a hard set. I'm just gonna leave it black. I'm honestly very. I'm, I'm not sure which one I should do, to be honest. Alright, let's let's do the um, let's do the white. Don't she look pretty? Another thing I wanted to check is if this actually goes on the. Uh, nope, does not. The stripe does not go to the spoiler. Any of the spoilers, for that matter. That kind of sucks. Okay, so carbon it is. And then the wheels. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? Wheels get the. Uh, I don't know if it's a little bit too much white. 
Looks really good. Looks really nice. Looks really good. Okay. Alright. Well, that's fully customized. All the uh, options. So let's go ahead and take it for a little drive. I have not driven it yet, so... Let's see how it drives. It looks very, very nice, that's for sure. Remember, it's all-wheel drive, so let's see what it does. Oh, it's raining. That's not very good. Oh. Lovely GTA traffic. All right, so right away, I can tell the top speed is very, very, very bad. The top speed is not good at all. This is top speed right now. That's kind of sad. The acceleration, on the other hand, though, very, very fast. As you can imagine. And it does not have two gears, like the actual Rimac. It just has one, from what I can tell. And the front end does clip on curves. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's do a... What? I'm holding the handbrake and the front tires are spinning. What? Okay. That's weird. My... Gosh, the acceleration on this thing is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This thing has to be the best quarter mile time holder out of all the supercars. It has to be for the quarter mile at least. I'm going to be testing the quarter mile times uh, in a separate video against all the super, well, most of the supercars. Obviously, I'm not going to test it against a bullet or an Infernus or anything like that or a Vaca. But uh, I'm definitely going to be testing it against all the other uh, supercars. Let's take a quick look at the interior. We have the same interior from the uh, Tubache Spectre, which is based off the interior from the C Corvette C7. As you can probably tell the resemblance. But yeah, let's say guys, that's the customization for the Rimac Concept One, aka the Coil Cyclone. And I think only the doors open. Yep, only the doors open. But again. I saw the customization for the Coil Cyclone. Stay tuned for the drag race videos coming very shortly, and I'll see you in the next one.